Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure that we all have in our drawers postcards of the beautiful sandy beaches on the Mediterranean shore. Blue sky, sunny light, green palm trees and turquoise sea. And each time we open our drawers and find these postcards, we smile and start daydreaming, especially when winter has been as long as this one. Unfortunately, though, the Mediterranean Sea, it's not always the heaven we see on those postcards. Despite progress in some areas, it is not yet immune from inappropriate coastal development, driven by industrialization and tourism development, from disturbance and pollution caused by economic activities, and from uncontrolled urbanization, which all have significant impacts on the environment. In the Mediterranean Sea alone, it has been estimated that there are about 250 billion floating plastic particles, representing a total of 500 tons of plastic waste dissolved. These figures are simply hard to believe. We need to act. It is our duty. It is also our responsibility. First, because litter threatens biodiversity, we all know, for example, that marine litter and mainly plastic particles are inge ingested by sea animals. Marine life gets caught in nets and swallows plastic pellets. Second, because litter threatens human health and the health of our ecosystems, releasing chemicals that are toxic for both human beings and animal species. Third, because litter threatens our economies and has a social impact, it impacts, among others, fishing, boating and tourism. And fourth, dare I say, because it has an ethical dimension. What we are doing to our planet? We have to clean the mess we have created. So what can be done? One of the problems with litter is the lack of data. This makes it really important to step up action for the collection of reliable and comprehensive data covering the whole of the Mediterranean. This has to be done with key stakeholders such as national, regional and local authorities, research institutes, industries, the tourism sector, NGOs, in a nutshell, with all of you. And I'm very grateful to the Mediterranean SOS network, the University of Patras, and the thousands of volunteers who worked hard on the collection of solid data from beach observation questionnaires. But statistics and data are not enough. The packaging industry obviously should also be part of the solution as nearly 60% of our plastic waste is packaging waste. It should, in the first place, make a distinct effort to reduce our packaging. Packaging is fine where it clearly serves a useful purpose, but it should be avoided where it's simply superfluous. Single-use plastic carrier bags are one obvious example, an emblematic one. We all use plastic bags, but nobody wants to be responsible for the environmental damage they cause. The packaging industry itself is looking for better alternatives, and also us in the European Commission are assessing options to reduce single-use plastic carrier bags. Last November, the European Commission published a paper on the specific issue of marine litter. The Green Paper, on a European strategy on plastic waste in the environment is intended to open the discussion on the best way forward to tackle all aspects of plastic waste, new ways to increase recycling and waste prevention. The outcome of the Green Paper will also fit into the waste review we have announced for the next year. The Rio Plus 20 summit last year showed the extent to which marine litter has now become an issue of truly global concern. It was the only new target agreed by the international community. At Rio, we committed to take action and come to a significant reduction of marine litter by 2025. In line with that commitment, the European Commission suggested in its proposal for the 7th Environmental Action Programme the setting up of an EU-wide quantitative reduction target for marine litter. But sometimes we need more than soft tools we have to make the most of the existing legal arsenal. We all know what 80% of marine litter is estimated to come from, land-based sources. Most of that litter is plastic waste. 
This clearly means that waste management infrastructures and practices must definitively be improved. In the South and East Mediterranean countries, more than 80% of landfills are uncontrolled. In Greece, only 8% of plastic waste is recycled. So, full implementation of our waste legislation is crucial for addressing the problem. In addition, we have the Marine Strategy Framework Directive, which identifies marine litter as one of 11 main concerns. In 2012, member states had to make an initial assessment on the state of the marine environment and define what is good environmental status with targets. Good environmental status will mean that marine litter does not harm the coastal and marine environment. Relevant indicators should refer to the litter on the beach, in the water column, the amount of microplastics and the plastic ingested by animals. However, litter is a problem which is so complex and widespread that working alone is simply not an option. This is why we are pushing for partnerships. Partnerships with industry, as already mentioned, but also with neighboring countries. We are encouraging regional cooperation, for example, with the Sea Convention for the Mediterranean, the so-called Barcelona Convention, whose secretariat is, by the way, in Greece, and which has been working hard since the mid-80s to address the problem of marine litter in particular. The need to join up forces also explains why the European Commission supports the Horizon 2020 initiative, which aims to depollute the Mediterranean by the year 2020 by tackling the sources of pollution that account for around 80% of overall pollution of the Mediterranean Sea municipal waste, urban waste water and industrial pollution. But the real game changer will be people. Public awareness and education campaigns like yours are essential. Cleanup campaigns are a formidable tool to involve citizens. People actually like to be involved. And as you do, it is particularly important to focus on the younger generations. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mediterranean has always been a very valued sea. It has always been considered as a biodiversity hotspot and the beauty of its coastal zones has been one of its most appealing assets. But if we really want the postcards to reflect the reality, let us all contribute with small actions to the solution and let us all make sure that the next time we enjoy the beach, we take nothing but memories and pictures and leave nothing behind us but the footprints. I thank you for your attention and wish you a successful event.